Hello, my name is David Muñiz. I'm the Midwest Product Specialist for M Audio, and I wanted to take you through a walk through the NRV10. Now, looking at the NRV10, it looks like a straight up analog mixer, and that's pretty much what it is. You'll find um, five mic preamps across four mono channels and two stereo channels for a total of eight, uh, eight discrete inputs. Each channel strip has a three band EQ, and you'll also find uh, a couple of AUG sends on each channel strip. Now, the way these are set up, AUGs 2 will send your signal to the built-in digital effects system. Uh, it's 16 different effects with 16 variations per effect. So they're not extremely programmable, but they do give you a sort of arsenal of basic effects ready for you when you're about to perform, or maybe while you're recording, just to give that vocalist a little bit of reverb to make them feel a little more comfortable. The first AUGS is hardwired into a monitor system. That signal can be routed either, your, either to your control room or to your headphone mix to give you a little bit of flexibility with routing there. Both of the AUGS sends can, de, can be defeated when using your own external effects when plugging them into the AUGS sends and returns at the top of the mixer. Now, what's cool about this mixer is that of course, being M Audio, it's not just a plain old analog mixer. It's also a Firewire audio interface. And unlike all of our competitors that make products similar to this, not only do we give you eight discrete channels of input, but you also get eight discrete channels of software returns back from your computer. In fact, you also get a monitor bus out of nine and 10 for a total of 10 simultaneous discrete channels back from the computer. And so what's that good for? Well, across the top, you'll find a button that says channel or firewire on each channel strip. What that lets you do is switch between the analog input, for example, in this scenario, we have a microphone set up, and if I press it in, it gives me my firewire software return. Right now, you should be hearing a little bit of delay on my voice. Because I have this routed into the computer, it lets me use my computer as an insert effects box. So, I'll turn that on. I'll turn that off, I mean, to keep it from getting a little annoying. Um, so if we look into the computer, what you also get with the NRV10 is the NRV10 inner effects application. What this lets you do is you'll see that you've got a perfect emulation of what's happening on the mixer. Four mono channels and two stereo channels. Each channel has its own dedicated gate and compressor, and you can also add your own bank of VST effects. Now, it comes with a few basic effects, things like uh, a BPM delay, a chorus, um, an, another compressor, but you can add your own. So if you had a bunch of effects that you're regularly using in your projects, you can easily incorporate those into your live performances. So again, flipping between the channel and the firewire button gives you your direct input or the wet signal that's being affected by the effects on the computer. What this also means is that it makes it real easy to mix analog uh, real-world devices with virtual digital devices. So if you have perhaps uh, a hardware synthesizer sitting on your desk, you can easily mix that in the same mixer with a virtual synth that you, that you access via controller. Um, this also means that if you are doing any sort of live performances that require a degree of flexibility as far as sound control goes, you don't have to hire an additional sound person because you can program your software DAW like Pro Tools or Ableton Live to, to handle all the automation for you. And because you have eight discrete channels, those individual channels can get their own, uh, their own independent effects. Um, and as of Pro Tools 7.3, the NRV10 will be compatible with Pro Tools Empowered which makes this a great audio interface for your Pro Tools system.